Oh, hey guys! Jay Matthew. Have you ever wondered what I spent my life savings on? You guessed it. This jar of honey. <laughs> it cost the house! I'm homeless. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll still have the house for another three hours. All right, with, with that being said, let me show off my 2021 game collection. Now, if you're wondering how, how I got all these games, it was basically from like um, flea markets, just used game stores, um, game stops. Like in the past, I don't really go to GameStop anymore. Um, I usually just get games from um, you know like used stores, like, like like local game stores or flea markets most of the time, um, and then some are from like online stores, stores and stuff like that. But it, it's grown a ton even over the past year. Like it's already like I'm guess it, it probably might have even doubled over the past year. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to really base it off of, but it very possibly could have doubled over the past year. <laughs> Alright, now let's finally show the specific games. Since it's right here, let's start off with the PS4. I've basically had a PS4 ever since it came out, and I've played basically all the good exclusives and all the good games on that, because I love PlayStation and the PS4, so... Yeah, I have a lot of really good games for the system, and also a lot in general. <laughs> PS4 is in alphabetical order, but some of them aren't. Like, it's just kind of mixed match. Like, PS3 is, like, by, by like, type of game. Um, and some are by alphabetical order. But since this is alphabetical order, let's start with A. I have Attack on Titan and Attack on Titan 2. I uh, really like the anime, obviously, so I had to play the games. And then Battlefield 4 and uh, Beast Quest. Now that that's out of the way, I got Bendy, Bloodborne, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare again, <laughs> Call of Duty World War 2, Custom Quest 2, um, Cosmic Quest 1 and 2 are, uh, really good games that I, um, it's like, it's like one of those games that, like, people don't really know about, so, like, you, you, like, they're, like, I don't know how to explain it. they're, like, you're, they're, like, near and dear to you, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Crash, Insane Trilogy, Destiny 2, Devil May Cry 5, Doom, Slayer Collection, now, Doom 2016 is incredible, just, just play the game. Another game you should play is Dreams, like, Dreams is so underrated, and, like, you, you make your own, like, actual games, um, in that game, and it's, it's incredible. Farpoint, Final Fantasy 15, Final Fantasy 15 again. <laughs> that that's the PAL version, that's the US version. Uh, God of War, incredible series, God of War 3, GTA 5, Hello Neighbor, <laughs> Infamous Second Son, Jack and Extra 3, Limited Run Edition, uh, Just Cause 3, Lego Ninjago, Lego, Lego Marvel Superheroes, Lego Marvel Super Heroes Superheroes 2, Lego Worlds, uh, yeah, Lego Worlds, Little Big Planet 3, Mass Effect, Andromeda, Mega Dimension, Neptunia uh, 7. And then the Outlast Trinity, Outlast, the first one, I've only played the first one so far. An incredible game. <laughs> PSVR, demo disc. Psychonauts, limited run edition. Ratchet and Clank, Skylanders Superchargers, Skylanders Trap Team. Come down here, Skylanders Imaginators. Spider-Man, Spyro Weird Night Trilogy, Last of Us Remastered, incredible game. Trine Ultimate Collection, Wargroove, Watch Dogs, and then all the Uncharted games. Uncharted 4, Uncharted Lost Legacy, and Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection. Uncharted is like probably my favorite PlayStation in series of all time, so play play the games. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts uh, all in one package. I, I, I gotta I gotta play through them. I, if you saw, I, I I've been streaming the first one. Well, I I, I stopped. Like I, I streamed the first one for a little bit a few months ago. And then my, my only physical PS5 game is Spider-Man Miles Morales. Coming down to the PS3, I have crazy amount of PS3 games. <laughs> Uncharted One, Uncharted Two, Uncharted Three. GTA 5, Skyrim, God, God of War Saga, okay. PS3, like the PS2 has a ton of good games, like great games, and then the PS3 kind of took those and like made like these incredible HD remaster collections. So starting with God of War, hello. <laughs> the God of War Saga has like every God of War game, plus the PSP game, so it's that's like the greatest collection you can get. M move out of the way. Prince of Persia, Rocksmith, Rock Band 2, Lego Rock Band, Lego Star Wars, The Complete Saga, Lego Batman, The Video Game, Lego Harry Potter, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, 
Lego Batman 2, Little Big Planet, and then getting to like all the collections or, or the the rest of the collections. Jack and Dexter collection, the Sly collection, the Ratchet and Clank collection. So those are very, very good collections. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction, Ratchet and Clank Alpha One, Ratchet and Clank Full Frontal Assault, Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus, and then I have, I have Ratchet and Clank Future, a crack in time upstairs, so I, I think I followed the Ratchet and Clank games. Gunner Sparrow's Adventures, Gunner's Giants, Sparrow's Rob Force, um, Resident Evil 5, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, World at War, Black Ops and Ghosts, Soul Calibur 4, good game. Uh, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, Assassin's Creed 2, Infamous 2, Fallout New Vegas, and then, coming down here, Borderlands a pre-sequel, Devil May Cry 4, weird spine lobby, can't really tell what that is. <laughs> the very first Bayonetta, Spider-Man 3, Darksiders 2, Mass Effect 3, Dead Rising, Madden 12, Forge Champions, Epic Mickey 2, uh, The Simpsons Game, Rayman Origins, Fight Night Round 4, Batman Arkham Origins, Batman Arkham Asylum, Naughty, uh, Naughty Bear, Gold Edition, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, iPet, Falling Skies of the Game, MX vs. ATV Untamed, and Cars, Major National Championship, and SSX. I'm pretty sure the Cars game is like one of my first ever PS3 games, so that's very cool. So yeah, that was PS4 and PS3, some of my favorite consoles of all time. You know, you guys know I love PlayStation. I could possibly even be more of a PlayStation guy than Nintendo <laughs> um, overall, but yeah. Now there's still more places to go, so let's move on to the PS2. My PS2, my PS2 collection has some very good games. It, it, like overall, like there's not like a ton of like shovelware games in there besides like some sports games and stuff. This one's for Ventus HD. We got Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2, and then Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy, no, yeah, Final Fantasy X1. Oh, what the? Uh, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy X1, Final Fantasy X, no, no, <laughs> no, sorry, Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy 11, and then Final Fantasy 12. There you go. <laughs> and then I, this, this one's super cool to me. I have Monster Hunter, the very first Monster Hunter game. One Piece, Grand Battle, Eternal Ring, which is like a ripoff, Final Fantasy, look at this, look at this, look at this, this is hilarious. The back of Eternal Ring says, who said fantasies had to be final, as if, yeah, they're making fun of Final Fantasy. And then from there, I even have like all like the essential um, PS2 platformers. So Jack and Dexter, Jack and Dexter 2, Jack and Dexter 3, Sly Cooper 1, Sly Cooper 2, no 3. <laughs> um, I gotta find that soon. Ratchet and Clank Going Commando, Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal, and then Ratchet Deadlocked. Uh, Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, the best game. Even games like Walls and Gromit, Project Zoo, and Shrek 2. Resident Evil Code Veronica, Resident Evil 4, Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3, Dynasty Warriors 4, Metal Gear Solid 2, Star Wars Battlefront, Medal of Honor Frontline, Rise to Honor, Time Crisis 2, Soul Calibur 2, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, which I actually found behind like a pillow and a Goodwill, Tekken Tag Tournament, GTA San Andreas, uh, Gran Turismo 3 A Spec, uh, Nicktoons moving, uh, move in. I too, I toy, <laughs> I toy anti grab. And then up here, there is Madden 05, MVP Baseball 05, MLB 08, the, the show, head coach, and then an empty case of Soul Calibur 3. Um, it's missing the game, but there's like, there's like some like bonus demo disc in there, which is weird. So that's PS2. Coming down here, we have my impressive GameCube collection, because GameCube games are really rare right now, and expensive and hard to find so I have a lot of really good ones and most of the like half like half like the uh first party ones I got like 10 years ago so you know I got them before they were like 300 bucks this <laughs> is Luigi's Mansion Super Mario Sunshine I know Jack Division loves that game is Super Mario Sunshine a great game absolutely not Mario Kart Double Dash Super Smash Brothers Melee Animal Crossing Metroid Prime Pokemon Coliseum, Mario Superstar Baseball, Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix, a very obscure Mario game, Sonic Heroes, and then Sonic Mega Collection. <gasps> what song is in the title screen of that game? <gasps> you, you you guessed it, it's the da -da 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 -da. Spyro, A Hero's Tale, Rampage, Total Destruction, Nickelodeon Party Blast. I, I, I should probably make a video on that soon. That's that's a funny game. Jimmy Neutron, uh, Attack of the Twonkies, The Fairly Odd Parents, Shadow Showdown. Lego Star Wars 1, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit 2, 
Need for Speed Underground, Spider-Man 1 and 2, some Lord of the Rings games, I don't really want to read out the title, because... Yeah. Call of, and then Call of Duty 2, big red ones, yeah, so that's like, that's my very, uh, valuable GameCube collection. <laughs> Finally coming down to the Xbox 360 shelf, we got Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Halo Reach, Halo 4, Gears of War, Gears of War 2, Gears of War Judgment, Perfect Dark Zero, Forza 2 Motorsport, Fable Anniversary, a good game, uh, Fable 3, Left 4 Dead 2, very good game, The Orange Box, um, Sega Superstars Tennis, Fallout 3, good, Oblivion, or Elder Scrolls Oblivion, Red Dead Redemption 2, no, Red, Red Dead Redemption 1, Rage, Crisis 2, and then a ton of Xbox, uh, a ton of Assassin's Creed games, so Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Revelations, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, uh, and then Prototype 1 and 2. The Prototype 1 and 2, I, I got them recently, and I, dude, there's, there, these are some fun 360 games, so if, if you don't, if you have a 360 and you don't have Prototype, get, get Prototype. And we've got Dragon Age Origins, Max Payne 3, Diablo 3, Battlefield 3, Condemned 2, um, uh, Aliens, Colonial Marines, MTV, Pimp My Ride, um, and then uh, EA, MMA, and um, so, you know, I thought I threw these in the trash in that one video. All jokes aside, we got the infamous Sneak King, Big Bumpin', and Pocket Bike Racer. And then for Connect games, I have Fighters Uncaged, Connect Sports Ultimate Collection, and Sonic Hero, no, not he Heroes, what? Sonic Freeriders, and then up here, NBA Baller Beats. So yeah, that's the 360 right there. Good, good games. And then my newest set of set of games, um, I only had like one or two of these before, like two months ago, but um, here's the Xbox. Halo 1, Halo 2, Mech Assault, Mech Assault, like, okay. Let me, let me say this, a lot of these games are exclusive to Xbox, so I think this collection is like, Really cool, and I, I I find Xbox like original Xbox games. They just look super cool. I don't know why. But moving on, we got Mech Assault 2, Brute Force, Ninja Gaiden, Fusion Frenzy, Xbox Music Mixer, uh, an interesting one. Uh, Dead or Alive 3, GTA San Andreas, um, Star Wars: The Clone Wars, and Tetris Worlds: Wrath Unleashed, Mad Dash, Doctor Muto, and Shrek and Mojo. And then a steel book of Doom 3. So yeah, I think these games are really like I think this collection is really uh, really cool. And then our first set of Nintendo games, we got the 3DS. Let's start with Lego Chima, Cars, no, Cars 2, Skylanders Pals Adventure, Scribble Knots Unmasked, Yokai Watch, Epic Mickey, Power of Illusion, Tomodachi Life, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, Pokemon Omega Ruby. Pokemon Sun with the funny label, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, The Legend of uh, A Link Between Worlds, Pokemon Ultra Sun with, with the even funnier label, <laughs> Super Mario Maker 3DS, Super Mario 3D Land, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, and then Animal Crossing New Leaf, which is by far my favorite 3DS game. <laughs> and I'm sure it is to many other of you guys. So yeah, that's, that's 3DS and Xbox. And then we got the big hitter, the Nintendo Switch, which is one of the uh, most grown collections since last year. Last year, I'll, I'll, I'll show it on the screen right now, but it wasn't, it was like half this, or at least, maybe less. Let's go in alphabetical order. I got Animal Crossing New Horizons, great game. ARMS, very good game. Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, Luigi's Mansion 3, um, New Super Lucky's Tale, Poyo Poyo, Tetris 2, Ring Fit Adventure, Super Mario Maker 2, Super Mario Odyssey, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I, I almost said Melee, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario plus, plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, which I got part of like, this like Mario, Mario Day deal. And I got, so I got Mario plus Rabbids in this coin set for like 20 bucks, so that was, that was pretty cool. Then we got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Pokemon Shield, Splatoon 2, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which is now a rare game. Or it's not it's not really rare right now, it's just um delisted, obviously. And then Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. And then Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, which is a spin-off No More Heroes game. And then since we're right next to it, I have the Mario Bros. Game and Watch. Whoa! And then this is like what my um Mario Odyssey copies and Splatoon copies came in. 
They, came with, they each came with like a a, 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 a a game guide. So that's cool. But yeah, that's the Switch. I, I, I love I love the Switch. From there, we have one of the best Nintendo consoles of all time. I'm not even joking. I actually love the Wii U. <laughs> um, is the Wii U. Um, we'll start off with Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Epic Mickey 2, and then probably the longest game of all time, Mario and Suck at the so Sochi 2014 Olympic Winter Games, um, Mario Bros. U, Press Luigi U, Splatoon, many members of that game, Nintendo Land, Star Fox Hero plus Star Fox Card, Smash for Ryu, Super Mario 3D Land, original version, the Switch version's up there, Yoshi's Woolly World, and then Zombie U. If you haven't already, buy a Wii U. <laughs> Now! And then we get to go to the, uh, the, an incredible Wii collection. Of course, Animal Crossing City Folk, Backyard Sports Rookie Rush, Backyard Football, Club Penguin Game Day, D Blob, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Ella Bits, and Epic Mickey. And then the second shelf has FIFA Soccer 12, Game Party, Hello Kitty Seasons, and uh, I call you for the Wii. Y'all know I, I love that game. I, I love that game, yes I do! Lego Rock Band, Little League, World Series Baseball, Double Play, Madden 07, Madden 11, Madagascar Karts, yes, I, I, I'm, you totally knew that existed before now, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Metroid Prime 3, M&M's Beach Party, Minute to Win It, NCAA Football 09 All Play, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, No More Heroes, which is a rare game on the Wii, Just Dance 4, Just Dance 3, Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, which is uh, the best way to play because the most controls. Sam and Max Season 1, Samba de Amigo, which is a really good game, Skylanders Giants, Shrek's Carnival Craze Party Games, <laughs> Shrek Forever After, Shrek the Third, and Sonic and the Secret Rings, the best Sonic game of all time, yes, totally. Sonic Colors, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Lightsaber Duels, Super Mario Galaxy, Tamagotchi, Party On, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, the, the the monkey king uh, and then it says the legend the legend begins like I couldn't, I couldn't read that for a minute wipe out the game wipe out three we play we sports resort you draw studio you draw pictionary and Disney universe yes round of applause for the Wii games <laughs> getting around to the DS we have band hero uh, since right there we got call of duty black ops loose cartridge yes best game Beyblade big uh, Bigfoot collision course uh, Club Penguin, Elite Penguin Force, Club Penguin Herbert's Revenge, Cooking Mama, Drawn to Life, The Next Chapter, Fossil Fighters, Kung Zhu, Lego Batman, Lego Indiana Jones 2, Lego Star Wars 2, Moshi Monsters, Mega Man Star Force Pegasus, Marker Man, Mario Party DS, I absolutely love that game. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. Smash like if you love Mario Party DS. Mario Luigi, uh, Bowser's Inside Story, Namco Museum DS, Our House, Pillow Pets the Game, Plants vs. Zombies on the DS, Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron, Scribble Knots, Sonic Colors, The Legendary Starfy, Yoshi Touch and Go, and it's this like third party multi game 201 NDS, uh, uh, DS cartridge, which is actually really good. It has like, you, number one, you can put whatever ROM on you, like whatever game ROM on it, and also, and you know, when you, when you buy it, it already has hundreds of. Amazing games. So that that's the odd DS collection. Coming up here to the PS1, I got some pretty good games. Spyro the Dragon, Crash Team Racing, even Pac-Man World and Wild Nine. Which I don't, that game's weird, weird as as as, as everything. <laughs> it's a weird game. Bro. SpongeBob Square. There's a fly in the room. SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge, Rocket Power Team Rocket Rescue. Rayman Brain Games, which is a funny, funny game. Ray Ready to Rumble Boxing, Tetris Plus, which is like the best Tetris game you can play, in my opinion. Um, if you haven't played before, play it now. <laughs> Pipe Dreams 3D, and then Siphon, Siphon Filter 2, which is a double disc game. And then my Xbox One collection, which has grown like three games since last year, is Minecraft Story Mode, The Town of Light, Gears of War 4, a sealed copy of Rage 2. And then we have the- And there's like, a, there's like a little like cartridge shelf. So that that's next. So NES games, Super Mario 1, Mario 2, and Mario 3. Kid Icarus, TNC Surf Designs, Mickey Mouse Capade, and then for SNES, there's Super Mario uh, World, Mario Paint, and Yoshi's Cookie, and then also DKC2, 
Right over there. And then for the 64 games, we have the Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Mario Kart 64, Perfect Dark, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, Wave Race 64, and... Glover! I mean, uh, uh, uh Glover, yeah, yeah. That, that game, Glover, Glover! And then for the Genesis, I have some pretty good games. Uh, Song the Hedgehog 2, Street of Rage 2, play that game if you haven't already, it's great, beat em up. Golden Axe, Mario, uh, <laughs> Mario Combat, Mortal Kombat 3, Street Fighter 2, and then for Inbox, I have Sonic the Hedgehog 1, um, Tiny Toons Adventures, Buster's Hidden Treasure, and then Taz Mania. Moving on to my, pre my pretty good, um, Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Collection. Um, my, my Game Boy Collection has a lot of really good games in it, actually. Beginning with Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Crystal, Mario Bros. Deluxe, Tetris, and The Lion King. Also, Rugrats and Driver, You Are the Wheel Man. So, Wheel, that's what it's called. But yeah, I, I think this part of the collection is really cool. Got them good Pokemons and Zeldas and all that. I have a lot of like custom inbox DS cases with GBA games in it, besides like these like some loose ones. I have this like third party NES Classics thing. It has like, a bunch of like, like NES ROMs. Um, uh, there's Nickelodeon 2 and you, you can't see it, but it says Nickelodeon 2 2 and 1 games, double pack. Star Wars, Flight of the Falcon, Shrek 2, the Pac Man collection, Yoshi's Island, The Legends of Zelda, the Minish Cap, which is so cool that I just own that. <laughs> um, and then Super Mario Bros. 3, okay, Super Mario Advance 4. And then Yu Gi Oh! What is this? Yu Gi Oh! Uh, the Eternal Duelist Soul. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, and then in here is Spider-Man, and then the GBA video, uh, Nicktoons Collection Volume 1. So yeah, that's the Game Boy shelf. Very cool stuff. And then here's the one of the weirdest shelves I have. It's like some PS Vita, then like some PSP, and then Atari. <laughs> PSP, I have Secret Agent Clank, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas, and then this really cool um, sealed copy of Siphon Filter Logan Channel, which is sealed. Sealed game, very cool. Corpse Party Blood Drive, which is a really good BSP game. Uh, Danganronpa, another episode, Ultra Despair Girls. Uncharted Golden Abyss, which is, no, this is like the one Uncharted game that just like, well. <laughs> and then this, is, this is like the one Uncharted game that like, no one's played it, but it exists and I, I like the game, it's good. This, this is gonna be hard to list off, but we got the Atari games. Starting off with the ones I can actually see the labels of, Adventure, Bowling, Donkey Kong, Football, Mousetrap, Pitfall, um, and then up here is Torment and April Pool. And then with the ones I cannot see, we have Super Breakout, Quicks, um, Pac-Man, Jungle Hunt, this is Galaxian, and then Defender, and then these little ones are Centipede, uh, Eastern Front, 1941, and Star Raiders. So yeah, that, that's my entire game collection. Crazy, so many games. Um, there's a few that I left out because they're up here, but I'll, so I'll get to those. Right, I'll get to those. I'll get to those right now. To finish it off, I have Mass Effect 3, the Collector's Edition, Skylanders: Spiders Adventure, in box sealed. Another sealed game, which is Pro Pinball Fantastic Journey. The, I'm assuming, very rare, the Ultimate Halo Companion DVD set. Halo 2 uh, Steelbook Collector's Edition. And then, like, the stuff, this is not really a game, but, like, the stuff that came with the Corpse Party Collector's Edition. And then Mario Kart Live. Now, I guess this counts as game collections. We have, like, all the Skylanders right there. I think I, th I showed that in the game room tour, but I I'll remind you that I own all these. <laughs> and then, actually, in that thing, there's, like, a few, like, duplicates of games that I have. Already, so like it's like a sealed Mario Odyssey, a sealed Tekken X3, and a sealed um, Hyrule, Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. But yeah, there's all, all, all the game consoles that are each other in the game room tour. Um, so if you want to know, if you don't know the names for some reason, <laughs> you, you can look in the tour. You see all that again, all the controllers. And then since these are technically games, there's the demo, di the PC demo discs, and I guess that completes my giant game collection. 2021 edition. So yeah, thanks so much for watching me talk about these games and 
show you the games and kind of brief, uh, touch on how I got them and stuff. So yeah, like let me know in the comments if there's like anything in here that you like want to know uh, like more about um, and stuff like that. And just co comment whatever. I don't, I don't care. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, you, you, you'll see all the games next year, um, hopefully in the same house. Um, I, don't really, I don't really want to move again. <laughs> but yeah, that's my weird um, and also really good game collection for this year. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe, comment, follow me on Twitter at jmatthewyoutube, uh, join the Discord server, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be right here, sitting on the chair, talking about a dumb game. Probably. Hopefully? I don't, I don't want to talk about a good game. That's kind of boring. <laughs> Goodbye!